This video is intended for adult collectors or adults who want a nostalgia fix, not for kids. Although children may appear in this video, they are in it for review purposes only. If you are a child, please make sure to get your parents' permission before watching and make them watch it with you. Yuna, this Hector Canal is bringing you a quick unboxing review of the 2017's WWE Mattel's Monster Series Asuka as the Phantom. On the front, you got a real simple packaging with great artwork and a clear view of Asuka. On the back, you've got more beautiful artwork of this monster series with a small little bio on this monster Asuka and the other five figures in this series that you can collect. Usually, I try to keep the boxes nice and neat because I end up putting the figures back in the boxes, either putting them in display, putting them in storage, or donating them. In this case, I'm actually going to keep this figure out and I might use it for some stop motion or something, but I think she's really cool. Plus, this, uh, the box is already damaged, it's missing the tab there, it's got a, quite a few dents. Let's just tear it into it. Alright, haven't opened the toy like that in a long time, let's not forget to smell her. Oh, she smells fantastic. Here is Asuka, she looks amazing, she looks great. Got her little mask right here. And it looks creepy. Look at that. Trying on this mask on her, it seems like it doesn't really seem to fit on her. I mean, it'll, it'll stay. We'll stay on there, but look at the big old gap. It's not molded to her face. And having her hold it, as you saw in the beginning, it's not really doable unless you put her hand facing kind of up and kind of angle it. Her hair is very reminiscent to the old Matt Hardy's and Jeff Hardy's that they used to make for the Jax uh, Titatron live figures, where it looks like a wig on her. I really wanna show off her face because it's very unique. There's all these little intricate designs on it, like on the jaw, but I can't see, the light doesn't do it any justice here. Now the real Asuka, she's very colorful. And this figure in the box, honestly, it looked pretty plain. I wasn't very drawn to this figure because there, there isn't that much color to it. It's got like three, maybe four color palettes. You got brown, uh, blue, purple, a little bit on her face here. But once you start seeing the design going into it, into the mold, it looks really good, like having it in my hand, this is a very good figure. Let's go into her articulation. She's got articulation at the head, moves all the way around. She's got the ab articulation, which is awesome. She's got the waist articulation. She's got the GI Joe swivel arm, elbow articulation, wrist articulation. She's got hip articulation, thigh articulation, knee articulation, and ankle articulation. Doesn't go all the way around. It's not at a ball joint, but it actually moves, which some of these Mattel figures, their ankles don't move, there we go. If you're a collector, keep her in the box. But if the box is messed up, go ahead, open her up. You'll have a little bit of fun just posing her around. Thanks for joining us on this quick unboxing review of WWE Monsters Asuka. Join us again on a quick video of... Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, man, what was that?